Sad and depressing that this is happening. So just yesterday, uh, Mr. President met some delegation that I lived in Ghana and was commending them for living peacefully with their brothers and sisters and also for reopening over 400 shops of Nigerian traders locked up in Ghana because your president intervened along with our president. And to see this happen again is really pathetic. Do not let, do not let us forget what happened in South Africa, xenophobia. Every African was affected, Ghanaians, Nigerians, and other Africans. We should not go back to those days. Let's maintain the good relationship we have with Nigeria and Ghana, otherwise we're all in trouble. However, as of today, the Nigerian ambassador in Ghana met with your Minister of Interior, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Immigration and the police officers, and they've promised that they will protect Nigerians wherever they are in Ghana. And we hope they will live to that promise. So they've also um, assured us that nothing will happen to Nigerians. Now, if a Nigerian commits a crime, get that Nigerian, arrest that Nigerian and deal with them. But do not criminalize the whole nation. What is going on there of saying, oh, Nigerians are criminals, is unacceptable. We have Ghanaians in Nigeria. We have ir irregular migrants and are Ghanaians in Nigeria, but we're treating everybody as Africans with decency and respect. Nigeria and Ghana remains the biggest in Africa, in West Africa, and we need to respect that. I like, like to understand, what is your understanding of the issues that are play here in Ghana involving Nigerians? Well, what I saw, just saw your television is pathetic. You know, now, a few Nigerians have been said they committed a crime, issue of kidnapping and all that, and as some of your people there have said, arrest those Nigerians, get them. Your media has gone all over criminalizing the nation. I've read a lot of reports and I think it's sad. So why don't you go ahead, deal with those people that are committing crime, arrest them, and let them face justice. But you cannot generalize. Okay, some, something happens, you go and lock up, destroy shops, it's not right. So we expect your Ghanaian authorities, like your police chief has told us, they will protect uh, they will protect Nigerian traders in Ghana, and make sure that you know you arrest the criminals and get uh, and, and and ensure that this does not degenerate. What are the issues? Maybe you should express it. The issues you see may not be the way I see them. Okay, so the issue I play at Swami Magazine mm -hmm. is that there are these local traders yes. who are saying that the law must be enforced, the law restricts the involvement of foreigners in the retail trade in their space. And they are saying that the law must be enforced. Look, this has been but, on. I just I, told you now, this same incident... Can I, can okay. I lay out the issues? Police, look, this problem has been there for a long time. It is a shame that it's still happening. I told you that just yesterday, this same issue, a delegation came to thank President Buhari for intervening with his counterpart in Ghana. 400 shops were locked up. This didn't start yesterday. And the shops were reopened. So for this... I, I don't expect, you know, I don't even expect that question from you. What case of destroying other people's markets? Other people legitimately walking there. I said this matter was taken up by both presidents a few a few months ago, and Nigerian traders came to express gratitude for reopening the shops. Now they reopen the shops, you destroy them today. The authorities must ensure they enforce um, relevant laws. But those laws, what you are doing actually is destroying the relationship between Nigerian traders and Ghanaian traders, and it's not acceptable. I like what your police chief said that they will protect. You need to protect Nigerian traders in Ghana. If you don't want them, maybe you should just tell them you don't want them and they should return, rather than, you know, of this hide and seek game. The police must protect Nigerians in Ghana, Nigerian traders in Ghana, and we stand by that. Our citizens must be protected, just as we are protecting your citizens in our country. So there's no two-way about that. It is not acceptable what is happening to Nigerian traders in Ghana, and we will resist that totally. All right, so the attack on the Nigerian traders operating as Swami, yes, you say it's uh, condemnable and must be condemned. But I'm asking, would you have a problem if the authorities decided to enforce the law and so ask the Nigerian traders to protect, stop trading? Look, protect Nigerian traders in Ghana. 
They are there legitimately. That's what I'm asking for. And that's what we are demanding. You should be able to talk to your people. If you don't want them there, then tell them, get out of there. Protect Nigerian traders in Ghana. I think my answer is as simple as that. Anything be below that is unacceptable. They are in your country. You need to protect them. If you, if you are if you are making laws, you don't make laws to destroy people that are living, you know, as brothers and sisters with you. Other things have happened in the past be, be, beyond this one, where Nigerian, you know, were involved in some criminality or the other. I would say let the law take its course. You don't because one person because of one person you do not deal with, you know, a whole nation. So. Di prosecute those who did what they did there today. That is what yesterday. That is what we expect from you. We must protect our citizens wherever they are. And, anywhere they in the world. and in any case, in any case, if they are complaining that the traders are selling better than them, can you blame the Nigerian traders for that? For being, you know, aggressive on their job, for doing their job diligently? Because part of the complaint is that the Nigerian traders are selling more than the Ghanaian traders. You cannot punish them for that. No, which president quoted which president? I, I don't think your, I get your point. Your president. Uh huh. Oh. Your president said that the Nigerians' reputation for criminality has made it hard for them to be accepted abroad. I'm sure you are you are quoting nothing. My president never said that. My president never Sorry. criminalized Nigerians. If I anywhere the president goes, I said just yesterday, he praised Nigerians in Ghana for living peacefully with... You see, that's part of twisting the facts upside down. You are twisting something upside down. How can you come on television and tell me that my own president said that? You are insulting my country and you are insulting my president. You know, even if the media twists facts, you don't do that, please. Don't insult my president and don't insult my country. And that's what we're telling If you don't want Nigerian traders, tell them openly, leave our country. Don't be diplomatic about it. And I refuse that, the, the question you just asked. It's an insult to my president and to my country. Please take that back. And whoever you are quoting is not a quotable I'm person. Going to pull the story up in a short while. Don't pull any story. I'll go up this. Don't pull any story for me. Whatever story you are quoting is a misquote. So don't tell me that. We're dealing with that issue here. You're taking me back. Do you want Nigerian traders or not? What has happened in that market is wrong. And that's what we're telling you. Let's solve these things diplomatically. I told you our ambassador met today. On this matter with your Minister of Foreign Affairs, your Minister of Interest, you're now telling me that somebody in London said Nigerians are criminals, quoting our president. I take that. I, I do not accept that, please. Abike, if, if you can see the visual right now on your screen, we have that story by the Telegraph. Right Even the telegraph, so so you see that's part of what we're saying. You are you're having a telegraph look down on you and me. Why would telegraph say something that you believe it? This is something we have addressed, you know, for a long time. Why would telegraph say something that you are believing the telegraph? You know, what I'm telling you now, no, don't take me back. And I please excuse me. You know, please. Take the, uh, if you want to tell me about no no, if you want to tell me about 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 this is then tell me. You are taking that quote is out of context. The president told you what I'm just telling you that if Nigerians commit a crime, let them be punished. But do not criminalize all Nigerians. We've accepted that in some cases, some Nigerians get into trouble, and we have said those Nigerians should be dealt with. But you cannot criminalize the whole nation. What the president said, which you are quoting out of context, is what I'm just telling you. If a Nigerian commits a crime, deal with that Nigerian. You know, don't tell me that because of that, every other Nigerian is a drug pusher. I have dealt with many cases in Dubai. What happened recently, we condemned it and we said it's unacceptable in Saudi Arabia, anywhere. But what I'm telling you is that your law should make it possible for you to arrest those who commit a crime and not criminalize the country. And that's why the ambassador blamed the media for, for, for this stereotype. That's what I'm saying. And then you see, we are coming with that. You are still telling me that every Nigerian in Ghana is a criminal. And I'm telling you that we do not accept that. Please. Is that so what I'm saying? I'm not saying that every Nigerian in Ghana is a criminal. But I asked an earlier question, and the question is, would you have a problem if our authorities decide to shut down Nigerian stores that are operating illegally? You want illegally? 
Illegal is not the word here. 